Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. There were a lot of concert films made in the late 60s and early 1970s. Uh, the film we're going to talk about today is special because of its location. It was shot at Esalon, which was kind of a groovy, hot tub, naked people <laughs> running around in the woods up in Northern California, Bob, Ted, Carol, and Alice uh, location. Um, that everyone at the time was extremely curious about. You've got great stuff from Joan Baez and Crosby, Stills and Nash. Uh, it's Celebration at Big Sur. Once a year, a special kind of festival is held in a special kind of place. A celebration at Big Sur. This film and the concert itself don't have much of a reputation. The festival took place a few months after Woodstock, and this is thought to be the wimpy West Coast version. That's kind of unfair. It's not wimpy, it's just better run. It's not one catastrophe after another like Woodstock. Also, Woodstock was a cultural milestone and a great piece of filmmaking. You really got a sense of being there in the mud. There's some interesting talent behind the camera on this film. Female directors Joanna Demetrius and Joan Churchill both get their start here. The co-director is Baird Bryant, who is the camera operator who captured the murder at Altamont in Gimme Shelter. The other members of the camera crew here consist of future SNL director Gary Weiss and Problem Child 2 DP, the great Peter Smokler. Producing the whole show is future Jaws and the jerk screenwriter Carl Gottlieb. It's quite an eclectic group. They capture some cool music here. You got Four and Twenty Years Ago and Down by the River, uh, performed by Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. Uh, Joni Mitchell performs Woodstock. Joan Baez does I Shall Be Released. Her younger sister Mimi Farina shows up too. Now if the movie is remembered for anything, it's for a fight that Stephen Stills gets into with an audience member who heckles the celebrity performers, which leads David Crosby to chance, peace and love, kick some ass. It's a true WTF moment. I'm assuming music rights uh, keep this from being released. 20th Century Fox put it out in theaters in connection with uh, Ted Mann of the Mann Theater chain. And it's far from being a must-see, but it's certainly a one-of-a-kind pop culture time capsule. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube, Bits and Pieces, the highlights if your curiosity has been raised and you want to see some naked hippies hang out with David Crosby. Celebration at Big Sur. 19 songs of life on film for us and everyone we know. Oh! 